Williams Magnetic Kinetic Vortex Motor version 11.0. I want to do a breakdown on the on the device. Um, what you're looking at here is the main flywheel. These are a special uh, configuration of magnets put together into a trilateral swastika type of flywheel. Below that here is the vortex that I'm using to power my flywheel. These are uniquely placed magnets in various different poles and positions that do this work. Here I have a little variable potentiometer for my trim. Okay. Here is the on off switch. It switches the device on and off. Here is a magnetic lever switch that switches as the flywheel by, uh, goes by it. It switches on and off, uh, closing the current. Here is a magnetic or a uh, electromagnet. This device up here is my motor generator. Okay, this is a five volt motor. I've got an LED and a capacitor on it. <coughs> I've also got two power coils hooked up to it, generating extra pulse when I when I need the device when I need it from for the device. Now the way this thing works is pretty interesting. Um, Got the trim set just right where I want it, and I'll go ahead and see, turn the device on. And this is a kinetic motor, so it needs kinetic energy to start. Once it starts, the energy starts flowing through the system. It goes up here to this motor generator, and this motor generator gives this little kick. As you can see, that little kick gives my kinetic flywheel just enough energy to continue to go. First I want to demonstrate the flywheel without the, uh, the, the coils and the generators uh, actually um, in the circuit and just give you an idea of how the wheel uh, powers and works itself. Now there's a little bit more drag on it than it normally has because the magnetic uh, contacts on the motor generator are, are giving it some drags and then also the magnetic switch down here is adding some drag but it still wants to run really really well on its own without those things. Now I can give that a little, little turn there and sometimes it will sink right up now the flywheel is now powering the generator. Okay? And then we just give that uh, generator a little whirl there. And you can't see it, but it's when it when it is running it pulses that LED. A little bit. Now let me go ahead and open the circuit up. Now you can see that LED really pulsing well. Now it'll take a little bit for that capacitor to charge up fully. I've got my trim here set just it's halfway between medium and high. Got the switch action going here. Electromagnet is going there, and the motor generator is. Sometimes it's helping out. Sometimes it's it's being helped.
thing about the kinetic motor is, is the kinetic motor wants to go as fast as you kinetically um, make it go. So I add a little speed to it here. And then I added just for, for the sake of syncing purposes, I added what over here is a little switch. Starter, it's actually a starter switch. When I hold that switch down, it bypasses this switch and just gives me the straight pull from the coils. I let the switch go. The device is somewhat accelerated a little bit. See if we can get it on up there. You hear it taking off? Which is powering which? Is the magnetic motor powering the motor generator or is the generator keeping the magnetic motor going? If you hear that flux back and forth, it looks like they're both working with each other. See if I can get a reading. <laughs> 